No, right, 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 Eugene Backyard Repair here for another. Let me check this camera. Got about 41 minutes time left. All right, we're working on a friend's generator here. It's a Pulsar 3250 watt. Uh, pull the filter out the tank right here because I need to. I need to get the fuel out of the tank. That tank that that fuel is not smelling good. Uh, Grab yourself a siphon pump here, a hand siphon as we call it. Same thing you use to uh, pump kerosene in the car. We're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna get the fuel out. We'll be right back. Not the best gas, not the worst gas I've seen, but uh, she's a little stinky. It smells like fuel, but it's it's right on the edge of going bad. All right, let me move this fuel out the way before I'm wearing it, and uh, we'll be back. All right, we got the fuel way back there, way back there on the back of the TRX. What it came for was this, a broken petcock. Uh, I'm not sure if it's repairable or not. It looks like it's a, uh, it was supposed to be a flare and then it's just pressed into here. That's why I had to suck the fuel out. Uh, we need to get that off and uh, take a closer look at that. Looks like a uh, 20 millimeter. It's a, yeah, we use a crescent wrench. I can find it. Chris and Aaron Jones ends up at the bottom of the box. I don't know why. We got tipped up on a board. In case there's any fuel left in there, we that into the tank, hopefully. Yeah. I don't know how that works. It's like a rag or something down here because, yeah, it's already dripping fuel. Plus, I'm hoping there's a filter on it so I can take a look at the filter. It did not come out the tank. <sighs> Probably got a cap on the top that's exactly the same size as the hole. Yep. It did. Alright, we're going to take a... Go over there and grab the heat gun. I'll warm up this hose and see if I can pull that nipple out of there. It looks like it's just a flaring fitting. I think uh, somebody tried to pull the line off, maybe clean the carb or something, and uh, you gotta heat this line up. If not, you won't get it off there. <laughs> you pull the fitting out of it. So you might be able to, oh, I know it's the, oh, my cups are laying on the floor for kitchen fuel. You may be able to, hang on one second. Uh, JB piece back in here and then order a new one and have a ship but we have a storm coming and he wants to have a generator for a storm hang on all right we got the heat gun i think she plugged in or she's not <laughs> 50 50 chance we were right and we were wrong that's okay Put it down a little bit yeah, I'm guessing that, like I said, he must have had a problem with the engine at the start. They pulled his line off to clean the car, or drain some fuel out, or whatever, and uh, you have to heat these up, but not, you'll, you're breaking. Uh, I told him I'd look online, see if I can find a petcock for this, but uh, I doubt it. There's so many Chinese versions of everything anymore. I want to make sure they get all our money. And there it went, it just deteriorated, it just deteriorated. So there's nothing left there. Awesome. There's nothing left of that piece. Trying to pull it out, it's just, it's just falling apart. So it didn't come out, I don't think, I think it broke off. I can't even pull it out because I can't grab it, it breaks off again. Rotten, rotten, rotten. I don't want to cut the fuel in because it's awful short. Oh, no matter. Uh, in terms of that, the fuel line's rotted. It just hits the fell right off. Just, uh, the pieces, uh, the fuel line was rotted, the piece was rotted. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't shut them off, you gotta go in and cool down cycle. 
Yeah, I thought it just came out. It definitely broke off there. Hard to see, but the definitely broke off. Oh, even the end of the the handles broke off. <laughs> How would you turn that? Man, she's had a rough life. All right, I don't think I can try. If this is clear, I can try drilling and tapping this and then running a, a bolt with a hole in the middle just to get them through the storm. Uh, we'll give that a shot. Hang on one second. I'm going to pull the filter and check it. Very little debris in there, just a little bit at the Try to get on camera a little bit at the bottom. Let me blow this out, and we'll bring be back. All right, we got we checked this out. We got it all cleaned out. Uh, I think we're gonna shut this camera off for one second. I'm gonna go on eBay and see if I can find this pet cod, and then we'll determine what we're gonna do after that. So we're gonna have to pause the video, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back on the generator here. It's actually a couple days later when I started this video. We had a problem with the pet cod here. I think I mentioned in my last video, handle broken. There was no uh, inlet here for the for the fuel line that I get hooked to. Uh, not sure if it runs. We have the fuel over here in the we we drained out of it, and the fuel's no good either, really. You can see right there. If you look right in the middle, you see a big round circle. That's water, and look how dark it is. That feels no good. Either either this had this generator didn't drink enough water and it dehydrated, or uh. That fuel's no good. So anyway, just trying to adjust the camera here. All right, we got ourselves some parts. Grab a knife here. I'll cut out the part and see if it's the right one. If it's the wrong one, this will be a really short video. This part came in, except for we end up with a snow, and I had to remove snow and issues. Uh, this part came in uh, remarkably fast. There we are. The same, same exact part. All right. I think this was a 19 millimeter, 20 millimeter. Well, let's see if it'll start. All right. So it seemed right. Let me grab a wrench and see, see if we can get that tightened up. Now we got a wrench here. It's a, this one's a seven eighths. It's probably like a twenty one millimeter. All right. That's strange. So you went to, I went to screw it on here, and it's already tight. But I haven't got the valve anywhere near close. Huh? Well, that's weird. I call the uh, Japanese porch. I don't want to hold on the piece of fuel line here too because I already snapped off once. This fuel line looks like it's pretty rotted. See if they're to cover off. We might take a gander to see if we can pull this fuel line off. Well, that's a good place to have the covers behind the, behind the side here. Yeah. Air filter looks good. All right, we'll bring you back in a minute. The only thing we're going to do is pull this fuel line off the side of this carburetor and see if we have another one. All right, we got a fuel line swapped in. That's in this yellow fuel line. I had to heat up with the heat gun and slide on both sides. Uh, Covers back in here. Huh. This is some kind of plate to hold the so the foam doesn't suck up against the inside. The pins are tiny on the thing. A little tiny pin up here and a little tiny pin at the bottom. You gotta line them up in the dark. Well, not easy. The bottom one doesn't want to go. 
There it went. There it went. Put the phone back on there. I don't know what's in this carburetor. I'm going to end up probably pulling the pulling the bowl, the drain plug here in the back and uh, making sure she's clean. Let's get this cover back on. I gotta find me a better one of these lights. There's another company out there. I think it's Walmart. I, I haven't even used it that much and it's dead. I'm guaranteeing it's these uh, great lithium batteries in the coal that they work awesome. Alright. Yeah, the cover back on there and there. The 10 millimeter bolt on the back side of the bowl. Let's see if I get my sample cup here. Pop that open and uh, see what comes out of there. Maybe we should grab a barely a wrench out in case it needs to be tightened. Grab me a 10 millimeter wrench. Like it sits on the back side here. There's a little tiny screw back here to drain the bowl out so you don't want to be fueling the thing while it's sitting there in your garage or wherever. Whew. She was in there tight. I'm sitting up on a board right now to tip it back in case there's any fuel left in this tank. Didn't run out on my bench here. I don't want to. I'm hoping it's dry because the the line was busted off right up here, so. Nope, there was something in there. Whoo! Something in there bad. Whoo! That was straight up. Nasty. Whoo, my God. If they had smell of vision, you would, uh, you get a tree here. My gosh. All right, I think we're going to pause you one second. I think we're going to take the. 10 millimeter or whatever off the bottom take the bowl right off and make sure it get cleaned out uh like i said the fuel was broke off so whatever was in that bowl it had been just sitting there but i'm getting it on my hands and uh it's quite a treat not really nope all right i'm wipe my hand off here touch my phone push one minute i'm gonna take the box i'm gonna take that bowl off and make sure it's cleaned out all right here's a new one Look how black this. Do I have a light here? Does this light come on enough? Look how much is. I'm not sure if this will run. Look at inside that bowl. Can you see what's in there? Oh my gosh. Uh, I might be removing. I see it on the end of the screw. And then I took that bowl off. Oh my. Uh, where's my. Rack here. I'll take a peek underneath. I don't know if that's savable. I can give you some pure water going into this. The float itself moves up and down, but I don't think it's moving the needle. I think I might be removing the whole carburetor, which isn't that hard. Just this layer off. I'll show you. Very simple on this one. So for now, I gotta heat the fuel line up and get it back off. Anyway, get the cover on, drop the screw on the ground. No way you can practice picking that back up. Take the filter off. Take the plate off. Got a 10 millimeter here and here, and then 8 millimeter on the back. Got a rebreather hose that comes off the valve cover on the back side and then it's got another hose that runs up here to the vent the tank that's it nothing to it all right we're gonna pause it again and we're gonna bring it back and when uh uh we clean that out of the bowl all right we get the bowl bowls cleaned yeah and the screw is clean Here's the carburetor. We gotta pull the float and uh, pull the pin in the float, and we'll clean this all out. 
we'll pull the jet out the middle we'll clean that out and we'll bring it back and when we uh put it back together and get ready to reinstall all right we got the carburetor reinstalled on the machine get the air filter box put back on uh and we can fight with this cover here you can stick on a little tiny thing that you can't see Of course, the pin's right behind the bar. That way, in, that way it's in good view. For I don't know. Carburetor was all cleaned out. Clean the jet. Carburetor. Clean that. Doesn't mean it's going to run. But give it the best chance. I think I'm going to end up taking this back off. I should uh, probably make sure this tank is empty. That fuel is pretty dirty. Of course, if this flashlight would stay on for more than three or four seconds, it would be nice too, but there's not much in there. I think I might be able to just add to it. There's just barely anything on the bottom. Uh, hate to waste the rags just shoving them in the gas tank. That and the, I don't want your dirt in the tank. Ugh. Anyway, I think we'll just uh, add some fuel to that and we'll see how it works. Alright, I've seen fuel going in the tank. That's on. Oh, I see a hose that's free to hook up on the back here. Get the rebreather for the, from the air filter. The valve cover that says choke closed. How don't you know? There's got to be an on off switch on this thing. On for power. I don't know. I don't see nothing. So give her a pull. that up and uh, do some more power this is this Dremel doesn't draw much juice at all the more draw on it the more of a smooth out anyway there we go we got it fixed get the new pet cap on get the carburetor clean you know she ready to go back to my friend there try to probably you know I had to do the work had to get the parts you know 50 dollars to fix it can't beat that I don't know Whoosh. Most full engine shop won't take this in for less than 75 dollars an hour, so you know, so, so they're gonna charge you an hour of labor right off the bat, so and they're gonna take you take it in for any less than you're not gonna go out of there for under 75 bucks, so and that's not even counting parts. And then I gotta charge you, uh, I'm gonna charge you while I pay for the part, <laughs> so anyway. I get the dog back in anyway. So if you got any information out of this video, please like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Picture Park Project, funny videos, Drift Girl, things of nature, screenshots, uh, roadside finds, funny things uh, that just happen to work. You know, we, we uh, post up a bunch of them. Give it a thumbs up if you would, please. Give it a comment. I appreciate it. Uh, 500 something subscribers we're up to. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, you know, hopefully I keep putting out the videos and uh, Hopefully some people get it shared, and uh, I know a couple of my videos got a lot of views, but uh, they weren't all subscribers, you know. We we know the YouTube algorithm works, you know. More people look than actually subscribe. I don't know why it doesn't cost nothing to subscribe. Sign up, you know. It's free. Anyway, so uh, if you would, uh, like I said, give us a thumbs up, comment, and we're out of here. Peace! Not a bad generator. Here she is. What's it? 3250 watt max. Uh, yep, 2500 rated. Alright, God bless, we're out of here. Peace.